Are the notches new traffic barriers up to the task of the foliage influx? Our Sophia Thomas joins us live in studio with how the chicanes are faring. And Sophia, you just drove through the notch just the other day. How was that traffic? John and Alyssa, if you're driving an SUV like me, the notch's tight turns are nerve-wracking but doable. But bigger vehicles can struggle or even get stuck, despite those chicanes warning them of what's ahead. In the days leading up to Meredith and Tom Wester's stay in Stowe, they researched hiking trails, popular restaurants, and how to navigate the chicanes. My dad actually found a YouTube video online that showed someone driving through the chicanes. It, you watched it with him. Tom drove their RV through the chicanes and the notches narrow turns that follow. It was beautiful to drive through, but it was a little, little nerve-wracking. The Agency of Transportation installed the chicanes on Stowe and Cambridge entrances to the notch this May. The curvy Segway consists of temporary curbs and orange barrels designed to mimic the notch's twists and turns. They're meant to warn truck and bus drivers of what's to come, but not everyone's listening. And even if you make it through the chicanes, there is no guarantee that you'll make it through tight turns like this. Some drivers skirt the chicanes entirely, sneaking through adjacent parking lots or exit roads and getting stuck on the notch. Just last month, a tour bus was trapped, holding up traffic during one of Route 108's busiest times of year. Todd Sears with the Agency of Transportation hoped clear signage and expensive fines would be enough to deter drivers. It's it's well marked. It would be nice, though, just, you know, have motorists as they, as they come up on either side to just follow the direction of the signage to be aware that this, that this chicane is is coming. Despite some snags, the agency says there's only been one blockage or a vehicle stuck at the summit since the chicanes were installed. That's a nearly 85% decrease from the five-year annual average. Sears encourages drivers to follow directions to prevent headaches for themselves and the many tourists flooding the notch. Sears says the agency will do a more comprehensive assessment of the chicanes next season to determine those necessary changes, all in anticipation of what a permanent structure might look like. Live in studio, Sophia Thomas, Channel 3 This Morning.